if you were making like a ranking or a pecking order of all the awesome things that could happen <laughs> in space, like gamma ray bursts and type one A supernovas nearby and things, where where does where does this rank on the on the cool list? Well, for me, what's been cool about this is to watch it unfold over Twitter. This is something kind of new to me. That I first heard about this on Twitter. There was a, 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 a tweet that went out from a professional astronomer essentially highlighting this object and saying, hey, everyone, if you've got a telescope, you must look at this thing. I mean it. Uh, so that's obviously something that's, that's happening that's, that's interesting. But what's been enjoyable over the course of, uh, what's been enjoyable since that discovery is to watch on Twitter the dialogue happening from astronomers around the world speculating about what this might be, asking questions, answering them. For example, um, a cosmologist in Australia said, I wonder if there are going to be, if we're going to be able to detect neutrinos from this thing. So neutrinos being very um, fast moving, very light, weakly interacting subatomic particles. We saw them from supernova in 1987A. There was a response from one of the neutrino detection experiments under the ice in Antarctica. Well, I don't think they were tweeting from under the ice, but you understand what I mean. Um, saying, no, in this case, we pro it's probably too far away. We probably won't see it. People have been um, talking about what the progenitor might be, what it would mean if we see this or that. And it's, it's going to continue that way as the information come out. And you can, you, for not only professional astronomers, but if you follow this on Twitter, um, it, it, it's, it's, you, can, you can just see the science unfolding. You can see what we don't know. We, you can see as we get it wrong. You can see as more information comes in how our understanding of things change. I'm reporting on this as, a, as it's a type 1a supernova because there was a telegram that came out saying that, but I haven't seen the spectrum yet. That whole interpretation could yet change um, over the next little while. As a professional astronomer, when something like this is going on, do you like feel like you're missing out? Like, do you want to get your hands dirty? Do you want to be more involved? Do you feel like you're on the outside? Or is there a way to get involved as a professional astronomer when this happens? What What can someone like you, because this isn't too far removed from your research, I imagine. No. Right? I mean, what can you, how can you get in on the action? Well, if I were sitting on a telescope right now and I had control of it, I'd, I'd point it for a, a short time at M82 and just see what was there. Um, professional astronomers are getting involved simply by asking questions, by speculating, by having the conversation.